amazing how it looks like purple rain. Hey everyone and welcome to this Merch Around the World video. Today I'm going to be taking you on a wisteria viewing tour. I'm going down to Yanagawa, which is about a 40 minute, 50 minute bus ride away from Fukuoka City. And we're going to be going to Nakayama no Ofuji. This is supposed to have one of the best wisteria viewing areas in Fukuoka. So I'm excited to see it. It's kind of a rainy day, so Hopefully there aren't that many people, but also hopefully I don't get rained on that much. It is about mid-April right now in Fukuoka and it's the perfect time for these wisteria flowers to be blooming. Before getting to the station, I'm going to stop by this bakery called Antique. This cute bakery. A little salmon quiche and some orange juice before starting my day. If you have never been before, Yanagawa is also known as the Venice of Japan. It has canals that you can ride on and during spring cherry blossom season it's absolutely amazing you ride in the canal with cherry blossoms hanging over you it's a gorgeous sight i recommend it i wrote about it in a blog post below that i'll link and i'm excited to go back they're also known for their eel there's a dish called serio mushi which is a special sauced and steamed unagi dish um, that the area is known for so i'm gonna be excited to go back down there today and if you don't know Wisteria, maybe you know Kimitsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. This is the special purple flower that gets rid of demons. Wisteria is most commonly seen in purple, but it also comes in white, pink, and yellow shades. I went to a bunch of different Wisteria places uh, last year, the Kawachi Wisteria Gardens and a couple places up north in Fukuoka, but today I'm going to Yanagawa. I'm going to take number three, which is also the same track that you take if you want to go to Desai Fu. But today we're going to Yanagawa. Just arrived at Yanagawa Station. Picked up this rental bicycle, I'm going to take it for a spin. So we made it, I'm on a bike right now, and it's a little bit rainy, but um, super peaceful, and hopefully it's gonna be a fun adventure. And we're off, got the bike, heading towards the Wisteria area of Yanagawa. The road is pretty easy to bike, it's relatively flat and follows just one main road, so you don't have uh, too much going on, it just takes a little bit of time. There's Lots of greenery on the side, but that's about it. Nakayama no Fuji. Wow. After you walk through this little archway, there's these huge trellises up here that are flat. There's still a couple people, even though it's rainy. And then, even though the big festival is canceled, it looks like there's still some food stalls over here. I'll check those out. There's this bridge that you can go under, see the water beneath, and then look at this view. Just amazing how it looks like purple rain. Next to the flowers, we have a little food stall area of yakitori, yakisoba, takoyaki, taiyaki. So you can grab a bite to eat if you're hungry. Picked up a mochi treat. Let's see how this is and wrap this but it's so hot it's burning there's red bead and paste inside and it's literally burning my fingers but it's a good mochi i finished exploring the wisteria garden it is a little bit smaller than the kawachi wisteria okay it's a lot smaller than the kawachi wisteria garden but it was free, today was a little bit rainy so there weren't many people, tripods were allowed, so I really enjoyed that. And now I'm going to be biking back to the station, it'll be about 30 minutes, and I'm going to find some food afterwards, so see you there. I'm searching for an unagi place to try the special serio mushi, and I've come to this place called Kinode, and so I'm going to check it out. Unagi, 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 unagi. We have the specialty steamed eel over a bed of rice with sauce over it. And then there's super thinly cut egg as well. Some vinegared pickled veggies. And then a soup that is super clear but is made with the insides of the eel. 
was a sancho, a seasoning or spice that you can add on top. It has an effect that makes your mouth a little bit numb, so maybe try a little bit first, but it's uh, commonly eaten with these types of unagi dishes. Well, I'm finishing my Yanagawa adventure. I was able to go see some wisteria, took a bike ride for about an hour, and then I got some unagi. There's more that you can do in Yanagawa. There's the canal riding. If you come in the cherry blossom season instead, it's beautiful in the park. And there is another like small touristy shopping area that I didn't go today, but it's another place to check out, especially if you are renting some bikes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you again on the next adventure.